Nothing really interesting that happened earlier in the week, so there is no footage for it. What I do want to comment on today, though, is the OCAP protest that happened today in Toronto. OCAP is the Ontario Coalition Against Poverty. Now, I just want to say first that I completely understand what they're trying to do, and I understand their cause, and it's an important cause, and it's an important thing like every other cause, and you got to get your message out, but how they do it makes them look like idiots. What they did today was they stormed in on the Toronto City of Toronto Budgetary Committee meeting, uh, trying to make their views heard. That is the wrong way to do it. Uh, the, Ontario, the Toronto Police as well as the City are tired of dealing with, the, with OCAP. Every time they do a sit-in, they storm meetings, they get arrested. So that's what happened today. They arrested two people. Overall, they're, they're, they're just a pain in the butt. Guys, it's the wrong way to do it. If you're gonna protest, protest, that's fine. Don't storm into meetings. It just makes you look like fools. So we're heading up to Barrie. Uh, I know this is called Matt and T.O. and the first episode had a lot of stuff in Barrie. Well, I, again, I'm going up there. It just happens to be what's going on right now. Uh, we're going up to uh, Barrie to help out at Fridays again. Fridays uh, needs some help with their sign out front. And uh, also I'm gonna be doing some cooking. Woohoo! It's Saturday, February 12th, and uh, we're about to head out to get some hay for the horses. Some pretty good uh, weather. This is a little insane for driving. So this is regular winter driving up here. 15, 20 centimeters of snow is normal when we get streamers off Georgia Bay. You just deal with it. In Toronto, that strangles the city. They don't know what to do. I don't know where the winds can pick up and give you zero visibility. Holy Holy shit. Whoa. Holy white out. So here's a perfect example. Two minutes ago there was zero visibility, and right now it's perfectly clear. But that's typical of changing weather conditions in the country part of Ontario. You have to be ready for almost anything. 